Uh, welcome guys to the 2022 Flatty Bus. Down here today at uh, the Floor Hall in Hornsey. And uh, all the competitors are just starting to queue up now. They've been queuing up for probably the last hour. People have been getting here from like six o'clock in the morning, half past seven sign on. And uh, yeah, they're all in there now getting coffees and uh, getting ready to find their venues and find their zones and hopefully get into a few fish. Their sea state isn't fantastic, but it's not it's fishable. It's got some a few rolling waves coming through in it in the uh, the shoreline, but I do expect to see. It might put the dabs off. Plenty of flounders to be had out, I would have thought. And um, yeah, conditions-wise, I think for the first couple of hours on the flooding tide, they'll see a few fish out. They might start to die off with the with the sea state, but who knows? It could be anyone's. But uh, I think there'll be a few fish caught today. But we're gonna uh, we'll go around and see uh, see some views of uh, the lads and that all getting signed up and um, the ladies and kids and then we'll go on through and have a little mooch down the uh, coastline and see what's up. Okay folks, this is Dean, he's come up from South Wales. Now, a uh, bit of an interesting uh, journey and yeah, a story, yeah. so to speak. So, train rider and uh, camp on a beach for well, four You arranged to come up with friends originally then? Yeah, yeah, it was uh, four of us coming up two years ago, but obviously yeah. it got cancelled, same last year, and then the same group were coming this year, but they go to France later on in the year. Are they? So they couldn't couldn't come, then my, uh, my one mate who was coming, couldn't get a time off work, so I had to drop out last minute. So you've so, got uh, a train all the way from, so from just, South Wales yeah. to come and fish the event, Yeah. you stayed last night on the beach, Yeah. Come down the flatty bass, fishing the flatty bass today, I take it. Yeah, and, and then, then back to the sand and mere after, and sand, yeah. on the beach here. On the beach for the first it. thing for the weekend. Yeah. That is commitment, guys. So, first time fishing the event? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah. What's maybe. made you come up for that then? Because that's a hell of a journey. Uh, you might as well stay to the next one. I mean, <laughs> I've been looking forward to it for, well, three yeah. years, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, 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 I was yeah. excited to come the first time it didn't happen, so no. I decided no. to make sure it was going to happen. Yeah. This Have time. you been back to sand and mere yet then? No, not yet. No, I come straight here yesterday. I got here about midday. Yesterday. Did you? So, yeah. still, you know, and then yeah. head back for this evening. And what was it like on the beach? I bet it was cold on the beach last night, wasn't it? You got your fibby in that, I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It was a bit fresh, but was it? We weren't, we weren't too bad. We weren't too bad. We weren't as bad as I was expecting. That's what you call dedication, guys. But lovely to meet you, Dean. Right. Best nice of luck in the competition. Thank you very much. Cheers, buddy. Cheers, mate. Alright guys, we're down in Zone A at the minute and uh, it's very, very breezy, and I mean very, very breezy. You've got competitors working and stretching all the way down as far as you can go. And uh, somewhere down there, there'll be a stop sign. That's normally nine times out of ten, they, it's, it goes all the way to that stop sign. I mean, I know from past years, this was always a hot spot, they thought everybody wanted to go within Zone A. But whether that's going to be the same, the same case today, you never know, but um, we've got a few anglers down here. We're going to have a chat down there and see her, uh, her recognise her face. We'll go down and see Lee and see, uh, see how he's getting on. Here we go, we've got a few local boys. Some of you remember Lee. And what year was that? 19... No, no 2019? 2018 18, or something, was it? 17, yeah. yeah. Been a few bits long, time, long time ago. <laughs> this is your mate. What's your name again, mate? Matt. Matt. Hello, Matt. So, boys, down here for the flatty batch. What do you reckon? Uh, Looks com looks conditions all right <laughs> looks all right now, but <laughs> give it two hours, it looked terrible. Um, you, you, I think you'll need ten fish today. That's it. You'll need you'll need to fish it hard over the first period, wouldn't you? Clip you've got it. Depth of water. Yeah, clip it and whack it. I think you um, need to make two hours count, and then yeah, um, that's where the fish are going to come in with these first oh, yeah. two hours. As soon as it starts dropping down on the side, there's not hey, you start losing them. Uh, no, you won't need many. Ten fish. Ten, ten fish. fish ten, ten, today? ten fish will win it today. That's yeah. it. Two and none, and none of these days of. Uh, 25 to 30. Two and a half metres of fish, you reckon they'll win it today, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Well, what zone do you reckon? What do you think? Because I know this is normally quite a hot spot down this end, isn't it? The hot spot's B section, um, it? south end of Auntie, because yeah. there's so sewage work, like pipes and stuff like that. They live round in them groins, obviously. Looking enough where we've got in one, to be fair, and we're looking at up there, it's absolutely rough, but we're all well, right. It's here. always rammed along here, isn't it? And I know all the Plymouth boys, they normally want zone A. I don't know why. It's quite weird because you come pleasuring. Yeah. On here, you use four row hooks and you catch dabs. You'll fish three hookers today, you probably won't get one. It's no. weird on small hooks. No, yeah. No, no, look, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the funny things, dabs, they always go for the cod baits, don't they? Yeah. That they tend to. But, uh, small baits, clip it and whack it. It's renowned for, any... for small fish on here, anyway. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Um, It's a nice match venue, then, really, isn't it? Yeah. But, um, Good access. You'll get plenty of, you'll get plenty of undersized fish, like little pins and little, little dabs. Is somewhere you would recommend someone fishing for the first time for the main event, then, or? 
For easy access, anywhere like here, Witherensea, uh, Mappleton, easy yeah. access beaches. Yeah. Witherensea's well, been fishing but, quite well over the past yeah, years, it has, yeah. It? yeah. Uh, but for a big fish venue, unless it's flat, you might pick a rear. You don't yeah. get a lot of big rears up here. No. But, um, I won't personally come here. No. But what do you think will win it this year, Cod? Uh, I know there was some big bass caught yesterday. Was there? There was a ten pounder yesterday. And so there's it a chance for a big bass. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. With it being a bit of swelling like this, okay, you'll need a three to four pounder to get on the main prize table for tomorrow. Yeah. But I've you need a six, seven pound fish for to get in the big prizes for the raw weekend. Yeah, yeah. Either a cod or a bass is going to pull it yeah, out. Yeah, there'll be no race caught this weekend unless no. you're very lucky and get one off North Beach. But I can see a bass winning this weekend. Can you? Yeah. Six, seven pound bass. Yeah. Were you going for a bath as well? Yeah, definitely a bath. I don't think there's been a lot of fishing off at last week. Everyone's been out. You see reports. Everyone's catching, and we've had a few and stuff like that. But I think with this, we are is now. What's forecast of a weekend? I don't think it's going to settle enough no. for the then bigger fish to come back in. So I think there'll still be fish caught. The yeah. like they'll be like double, fix, double as. figures and things. But I just don't think there's going to be as many as what people have been getting. Well, no. There's so going to be areas that's going to be really. What hard. do you reckon the weed situation is going to be like? It all depends. Yeah, all depends yeah. how strong that southerly gets tomorrow. Is it worth? Would you recommend like South Beaches for the bigger fish? You can come from anywhere. You get more tide down there. You, you get more tide. It's, it's, it's one of the lowest tides, the smallest yeah. tides in the year. So everyone's going to basically head south for that tide. But it's one fish. It's it, it, yeah, yeah, in the weed as well. I mean, if you're down there, you're probably changing the bait more more frequently, wouldn't you? Yeah, every 15 minutes, 15, casts, 15 20 you're minutes maximum. Covered in, in weed, and you get that yeah. big fish come along as well, doesn't it? To be to be fair, through yeah, matches we've been fishing on smaller tides. The bigger fish have been caught further north on smaller yeah. tides. It's been, yeah, it's, there haven't been anything this year where it's been. You need to go to that beach because they're catching on them southern beaches. We had a couple. Of, we had a couple of club matches, didn't we? Where yeah. if there was weed there, you caught fish. Yeah, and in the were, weed, um, it was. Yeah. Bizarre. Like you wouldn't be in that weed to catch a fish. Not loads, maybe yeah. like eight to ten inches away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it all did fold, I reckon. So. At one yeah. point, about when money, about November, it, we I fished Easington, and we, we we managed to pick a spell in an area on beach where it, there was a point come out and it just missed us weed. We were getting bits, but yeah. people were getting three, four foot. But where we were, we were set back and we weren't getting it, and we caught for two hours of weed. Yeah. And then the weed went, never had a bath, it was smash. Nobody on the beach caught, no. the weed went and it nobody was... caught. And at last at end of the tide, the weed came back and the people started to bite again. Whereas usually you, you're never going to bite. No. Dead weird. Well, good luck, boys. It's yes. going to be a difficult one away from the flatty bash, but everybody's turned up. It was good numbers in there today as well, wasn't it? Yeah. It'll be two to three hundred again. Yeah. Good turnout, really. Yeah, it's a good turnout, really. For... It's more of a enjoyable thing, isn't it, for yeah. spending the weekend out. It gets you in the mood for it as well, doesn't it, really? It's been two years, though, haven't it, since the last one. Yeah. So, yeah, we've had a lot of, lot of feedback on the internet. Where good thing about it is, though, he's cutting an hour back. Next round, we're in a bar. Well, that's us from down here on Zone A. We're going to move across now. I think I've got a familiar face next door as well, so we'll go wake him up. Okay, guys, this is Alan from Manchester. Nice to see you. I met you again last night, mate, for the first time. Yeah, good, good night last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. Down here nice and early this morning? Yeah, nice and early. What time? About half, about half five. Half five, down half on five. the beach, yeah. yeah. Did you get the zone you wanted? Uh, yeah, I think, I think so, yeah. I'm, yeah. In, I'm in a nice place. Yeah, you happy here? Yeah, it's a nice and warm here. It's that coin, I can see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that movement with that tide bringing you right around yeah, there. Yeah. Are you going to fish right close to the green here? Or? Yeah, I'm going to try and get as close as I can, so I'm not getting oh, battered. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not going What's, what's your thoughts on condition wise? It's a bit lumpy. A bit lumpy, yeah. Uh, it is a bit lumpy. Yeah, a bit but lumpy, but I think you see a few fish out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's going to be a bit chilly here, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's, the way you're doing that side, but I'm thinking you get, might get look a bit of slack wall on this side. So yeah, yeah. I'm thinking just drop it in yeah. there. Yeah. two local lads leaving that next to me, and they're, they're feeling in good hopes of where they are and that as well. Yeah. So hopefully you see a few fish out. But, yeah. Uh, it was a big turnout today, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was really big. This yeah. morning, I thought, when I seen them all pulling up, it was a convoy. What baits have you got there? Like? I got black log, uh, square, a little bit of square bluer, mackerel. Yeah. Just going to just tip it over and try to look them on its own. Yeah. And just go keep on the switch in the cold switch tips. around. Big, big wise, right, free old flappers. Free, yeah, free old flappers. Yeah, yeah. Nice and tight. Well, yeah. best of luck, mate. Yeah, you too. I'll catch you a bit better. Yeah. Okay, 
boys on here and it's flapping the hoolie out there. It's yeah, a yeah. bit loud, but I'm more than the business walking past and looks and I see this uh, strange gentleman getting up. You know, mate, Wayne Jarman from Somerset, you know, mate? Yeah, not too bad. Come up, you, uh, you're going for a bit of a different approach, are you? Yes. Has your uh, other half on the phone giving you a few hints and tips? Yes, 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 yes. Uh... What's well, you got on there? Yeah. Well, you, well, you just found to shorten your traces, didn't you? Yeah, I have. I've, I've gone. Cause it's like a washing machine out there, you've seen it as you yeah. come along. But I've gone really short. Yeah. You still get flatties. I think the dabs have been cut off a little bit, do you think? Yeah. Do you move flounder? I don't know. It's it's going to be hard, regardless which way around you do it. Yeah. Everybody's in the same, got the same yeah, boat, isn't yeah. they? It's, uh, look, they're boys next to you, as I saw it, and they reckon it's going to be one about two metres of fish. Yeah, it's not going to be yeah, a lot. Yeah, it'll not be big. Like, ten fish and you'll win it, like. Yeah, so yeah, it's good. Hopefully, you'll do it. So what bait do you brought up, Wayne? Um, I've got some... Uh, Marco from Tesco's. Yeah? Yeah, because I've got some. Someone told me to try fresh. So I've got fresh. I've got fresh and I've got frozen. Have you? So. Yeah, and if, if and you want to go for the next nice little bit, so I'll tell you what, we'll get a little close up of that because you get uh, really tiny compact baits. Now, 2017 was. Uh, 2000, what year did you come running up? 11th, 2011. 2011. You won the first day, didn't you? Overall, winning the first day? No, I was. I, was, I didn't even come in the top. Top ten on the first day. No, it was second day. Second day, I won overall. One of overall on the, the first day, yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. come runner up overall. Size so four. Yeah, so size four. But uh, yeah. what tip would you give to someone fishing the event, especially this year? Because we've got a bit of it's not perfect conditions with the weather wise. No, it's not. It's, but um, it's anyone's. It is. It it's, is I've spoke to a lot of people, and they've said two, three weeks ago there was there was fish everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've. I've been up here for a few days and I spoke to other people who've been out fishing and they've had fish from north all yeah, the way down through. through. Yeah. Not a lot, but there is fish around. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do you reckon to win it, cod or bass? I reckon some might have a big bass. Yeah. I do, honestly. Yeah, there's been a couple of big bass caught. You know, Lee was saying next door, he thinks there'll be one with a bass. Yeah. But um, they, they were saying the north beach as well. I thought a lot of people go start going southern beaches and yeah. just cut up with a weed and just, just try yeah, and just that one big fish. fish yeah. But it seems to be while I've been here now, a lot of people are going to be going to the northern oh, beaches bassing. Just, yeah, bassing. They're going to get a big bass. Yeah. It's not being funny, you don't go a proper, proper oh, big squid right, bait in oh. 40, 30 yards out. Yeah, if I, sit on it. If I was there, this is lovely cod weather. Yeah, it is, it's perfect. It's it, strange though, isn't it? Yeah. To us, it's supposed to travel out and be screaming like cod. Oh, it would, yes. Up here, they make it flatter. Oh, no, that's it's what I'm getting. Absolutely flat. Crazy. Down our way, flat for the race. Yeah, definitely. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. That's, uh, well, it's freezing up here this year, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's not as bad as past years. Oh, no, years. I've had, I've had oh, worse where I've had snow, snow on here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, now, at least it's comfortable. Now, as long as the rain don't show, you can put up a bit, can you? Yeah, yeah, you can, Continental yeah. Continental rod and wheel ready to go? Hey, air grip with this, right? I packs everything. Yeah. I'm about 60 miles from here, and I realise I ain't put a... No. Light rod in. No way. No, I did. So, Lee, my friend, yeah. let me borrow his Yuki Continental oh, that's one. Nice of him, he? good that's, boy, that's what I found up here. Is continental style. It's the like, people. Yeah. Oh, it's so helpful. Yeah. Uh, I, take, I, I was just saying this the other day with Adam. You come down our neck of the woods and everybody's so miserable. Oh, God, yeah. And I don't know, it's this, it's a bit clicky in a way. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody's setting the groups and that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You come up here and everybody is so like nice, like it's, polite, the greeting, you're going, going anywhere. Yeah. We went in the other day, we went on a breakfast and the lady said, uh, is that enough for you? He said, Don't we'll give you some more. I was yeah. like, Oh, that's fine. No, you don't got to pay for it. You want an extra sausage, a bit of bacon. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't get that done, are we? No, I know. They charge no. your arm and a leg for an extra bit of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, another thing I have noticed up here the social media. Yeah. Not so much on the fish. No, no. No. no we, I, which I think in our neck of the woods. It's a big thing. It's, it's big. And, yeah. I, and I think now it's, it's starting to kill a lot of. I think it's, I think social media will kill fishing with with like Facebook especially over the years because people don't go out to fish anymore. People are waiting on posts. Yeah. So in the, the days of like like you know you put your own work in exactly the same as I do. Yeah. That, where now everybody waits for posts, which is it's a shame really. I've, I was I was out on a reef and I was fishing, and I didn't put none on this year. No. I thought right, I'm not no. going to put none. And then people say to me, "Oh, you haven't been out fishing recently, no. mate." We do it now. We just if we go out and do like um, we get a load of good fish like that, we won't put it on straight away. We'll wait. Yeah. I mean, because you want to go there the following week, and it's absolutely heaving. I, I got a friend of mine. He, he fished Dunster. You know Dunster yeah, Beach, and he yeah. we had a 1310 cod. Yeah. Right, and he took the photo. He uploaded it there and then. Yeah. Right. Right in there. Anglers there the following night, but. No, they went at 30. There were 70 anglers there within three <laughs> hours to fish the low water mark. Yeah, and I thought, yeah. 
all for that one fist. What's not? It's gone. It's, it's gone. gone. Yeah, yeah, somebody's already caught it. So chasing's never. It never works, mate. It never works. It's um. So, sometimes when you when you start uploading the pit like a place early or stuff like that, you'll get. Like, at the end of the day, it's it's one of them, isn't it? Yeah. And I think everybody's got the right to go to the venues and stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah they have. At the end of the day, it's the homework what goes in and that. And um. Yeah. Like, uh, like some of the boys from up here have asked me, like, you know, where to go on the Bristol Channel. Yeah, I've got no, I always, I've always, got no problem. I always try to help everyone. They vote me out when yeah, I've come yeah, up I'm here, so I return the favour yeah. when they come down there. So there's a few dangerous marks down there, like the reef slab, like they said, yeah. you don't know where you're going, but nine times out of ten, it's always places like Minehead and like yeah. places like yeah. Rock and that where they can fish safely and stuff. Yeah. Good fishing, but I'm going to take a long walk up there now, mate. I think you're the best. Day. And you will, I'll catch you later on. Okay, this is Oliver. You on, mate? Yeah. Is this your second time fishing the event? Did you fish it last year? Or? Yeah. Yeah. How did you do well? Yeah, last year. Yeah, fine. You catch a few fish. Yeah, yeah. What did you have last year? Yeah, yeah. Whiting. Yeah. Did you get any cod? Uh, I had one cod. One cod. Yeah. So what's your aim for the day then? Are you going to go for the bass? Are you going to go for the cod? Or are you going to go for the flies? Uh, Try and pull a few flies out. What's your aim for the weekend then? Cod? Yeah. Mostly catch good cod, isn't it? I've well, just been watching you casting. You're getting quite good with your casting, isn't you? Yeah. Did I see you know, some of the fish you've been having over the last year? Your dad put it on the pages and that. What, what's, what's your favourite type of fishing? Uh, what's that, mate? Uh, oh, you, you like sharks off the boat? Yeah. Do you? Yeah? 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 But um, you, I think you have a few rays out from the Bristol Channel and that as well. On the 40s. You like it over there? Yeah. Well, do you like, like this sort of event as well, isn't it? Yeah. Are you excited for this event as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, nice to meet you again, mate. Best of luck in the event. And hopefully I'll see you on the price of a massive cod. Because it's anybody today. And see these little bit of breakers there? As it's breaking out, what you want to try and do is put them just that side of that on the Saturday and Sunday, a bit of squid or something like that, and hope that big bass comes around. And you watch your rod tip as it is right over, get right onto it. And hopefully you'll get the winning fish. Give me some of that. Cheers, buddy. Okay guys, we're down at Zone B at the minute. We've uh, gone through and seen uh, a few contestants, a few juniors, and uh, everyone's about to get ready for the start of the 2022 Flatty Bass European Open. So we've got some contestants behind us just about to uh, get ready to cast out. We have, I'll have a look, quick look on the phone, four minutes to the start of the competition. So, um, the, the water conditions is quite rough today and I think it's going to put the dabs off. I think there'll be a lot of flounder caught and hopefully hopefully a lot of flounder caught but I can see there being a few cod and bass, definitely bass being pulled out. And um, I'm hoping to see a few flatties. Some, some of the locals guys think that it'll be a two metre, it'll be one with around ten fish and two metres of length. So uh, we'll see if they're right and uh, hopefully we can see someone pull out something to, uh, rather special with these uh, these conditions. But I think there'll be a lot of bass caught, definitely, with this condition today. But uh, let's get ready then and see the contestants just about to cast out.
Right, guys, we have Tom from, from Wales. You right, mate? Yeah, you live good, on yeah. the Galway, don't you? Yeah. So uh, this is right up your street, this time yeah, of fishing. Yeah, scratch it. What do you feel for... Um, um, it looks a bit not nice out there at the minute. Nah. I mean, it's, it's not perfect for flatties. Nah, it's not great. Um, but... It's dropped the competition down to one o'clock finish, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. So um, you've got a few down. hours to try and pull something out. But I think, the same as you, over the top of the tide, it's the best chance for you to get a fish out, really, isn't it? Yeah. Because the tide drops away, especially with the rust roughness, it's going to yeah. make it... A bit harder to catch, but um, how are you feeling with it? Confident? Uh, yeah. The the conditions out. aren't yeah. perfect, but we we'll try our best. Bait wise, have you got sort of similar uh, things? Yeah, black lug, mackerel, uh, squid. I'm just going to fish uh, black lug tip with mackerel. Yeah. See if I can win, get one out. It's not ideal though, but. Everybody's in the same position Everyone, with it, yeah. mate. It's one of the joys of the event at the same time, isn't it? Yeah. When it, it, everyone along here has got as much chance of trying to pull a flatty out as anybody else. Yeah. Could be one with one fish. Yeah, could mean? be one with so, one fish. Yeah, good one. How are you feeling for the event then? I've seen a little bit yeah. of right. had a, Yeah, I had a walk round yesterday. Yeah. Found some places. You so. found a place that you want to go with, yeah. Later, yeah. Early start. Early start, yeah. yeah. Along with everyone else. <laughs> yeah, good one. All right, mate. Well, I'll leave you to it. Yeah, nice one. mate. We'll catch you a bit later on. Okay guys, so we're just over halfway through the event at the minute and there's a few fish starting to come out now as the tide starts to drop off. So fingers crossed, um, the guys down at Zone A has had a few fish out as well. We've been on Zone B for the last little while now and uh, there is a few dabs showing, which is a good sign. I haven't seen any other fish apart from dabs so far. So uh, fingers crossed, I think the most I've known for at the moment, this one guy was had four out. So uh, he seems to be in the lead up this way at the minute, but um, I'm sure there'll be a few more fish and four pulled out. But uh, it's, uh, it's got a bit of a breeze and I think the guys are enjoying it. So at the end of the day, everybody's in the same boat, but uh, we're gonna head off now to uh, zone C and uh, see how the guys at Mappleton and see how they're going on. At that.
Okay, guys, so uh, we've down, just gone down through uh, to Mappleton, Zone C, and uh, there's a few fish I had out, uh, I think uh, dabs, but uh, nothing in mass numbers. So we've just been speaking to the gentleman to the right hand side of where I'm stood at the moment, and uh, he's been saying he's how much he's been looking forward to the event. Obviously, we last year, obviously, not happening due to COVID, and uh, yeah, he's looking forward to tomorrow. Now, the conditions wise, he's not he's, he's not in hope of, of getting a few fish out here where he is at the moment. The time sort of passed really at the top of the side where he would have liked to see the fish out. But uh, as we reach the end of the uh, 2022 Flatty Bash for the European Open, is uh, straight down from uh, Mappleton. It's a lovely place to fish, really. This will be somewhere a lot of guys go to over the next two days due to the comfort of fishing, basically. The headland where we're on position now, there's no wind at all coming through. You've got a little bit of breeze coming over the top, but the headland sort of like kills it a little bit and um, you're able to fish in comfort. And it's ideal access, obviously, there's a lot of slipway coming down through and straight onto the beach. And uh, as you can see, it's got holds a lot of people. Normally to the right hand side, you get, used to get a lot of people fishing as well, but the cliffs have sort of like deteriorated over the years. Um, so I'm not sure many people will venture around there, but this part of the beach during Saturday and Sunday will be very busy as well. So we're going to head back to San Lemire now for, uh, for the awards later on. And uh, that was a 2022 20, ba Flatty Bash at uh, the European Open. And in joint first place, both catching one 
final fish to 28 centimetres, each collecting 275 pounds. Craig Leonard from Grange Over Sands and David Howell from Willingdon. prize for this year, collecting tackle prizes. Again there was a tie for the longest flatfish with 35 centimetre fish. Glenn Pickard from Walton on the Nays and Fred Howard from Preston. Just a 